Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing out the training grotto, because apparently it's meant to be double. I don't know why it's meant to be double, but they just said it's meant to be double something. So let's give it a go. Uh, I do it pretty regularly, mostly we're just going to be doing the skip ones. Let's see, do we get any good rewards? Oh, I'm not sure I'd consider that double, to be fair. Because as we said on the JP patch notes, they said they would be getting double... Um, rewards thing. I think gold's definitely double. I can tell you, I think gold's definitely double. I'll show you actually after we've done the trading guard, I'll show you gold as well. I did 10 runs and made like 3 million, which I don't think is normal at all. Uh, no, that is double. You don't normally get two. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. We'll find out anyway. By doing this. It takes so long still. Imagine not having four star or five star and everything it took even longer. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I have Yulm relic as well. I'll make a relic on Yulm's relic soon. That's cool. I really like her relic. To be fair, it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, we're just gonna do this. Get that shot on the counter arm. Get that Terry counter arm, and just let him in. Big damage. Not big damage. Terry does a decent amount of damage, to be fair. Meh. Okay. Okay, let's disable you, because that's probably a million cancel buffs, and I don't really want you to cancel buffs. Even I've got no buffs, or no buffs you can even reach because of the counter, but still. Also means that you're better heal our teammates. Let's throw in with buff one. That's the healing one. That's another healing one. So stop two healing cards. She herself does heal, but that's just how it works. Um, okay, we're gonna disable her again, and then we're gonna start swap, and then... Actually, we'll just get rid of her. Because most likely she's gonna die by the... Uh, the other one will die by the counter. Easter should die by the counter. Oh, I forgot I got Valenti's relic. Hopefully that shouldn't be an issue. She didn't die. That's fine, Charlotte's always AoE. Oh, and I'm gonna be turned off anyway. So let's just bonk. There we go, even crit. That's amazing. How do you crit that? Oh my god. Really? She should be dead immediately though. Yep, yeah, immediately dead. There we go. Easy. Maybe I was unlucky and I got the 2-1 and it gave me double, but I'm not too sure here. We may have been scammed. Unless it translated wrong from Google Translate, but that's what it said on that. 2. I don't think you normally get 2, to be fair. So maybe it is double. Maybe it's double hammers, because I've got a lot of hammers from this so far. How many have I got? I've got an extra four hammers than what you would normally get. Or card pack. Here we go. Come on, something good. These are not the teams I used, by the way. These are just teams I put on there. Yeah, okay, it must be double. I've got so many. I've got six extra. I've actually got more from the ones we've got from completing them than we have from the... Uh, Hit the markers, the guarantees. Oh, this is 25 stamina. Let's grab another stamina pot. I'm running low on stamina pots, but lucky enough, I'll be summoning soon, so I'll be back to a lot of stamina pots again, which is good. Okay. Stance up, upgrade Gotha, and then do this. 
So we max out Lilia's passive. Give me an extra stack. Gothis Relic is actually super useful. It's only 1%, but honestly, it's probably one of my, like, but it's, the, it's one of the most useful relics, especially because he is very useful in Final Boss and Knighthood Boss, and he gives you 1% stats for all your characters, which is super helpful later on when you think about it. Uh, let's just triple AoE because we can. Just decent damage. Might be able to kill Alioni. Yeah, Alioni is dead. No stancing for you, sir. Patience as expected. Um, okay, upgrade. We're gonna upgrade Deanne here until we can kill. If not, we'll just get my ultimate anyway. She doesn't take much damage, but she does have a lot of ult gauge. Yeah, there we go. And I'm attacked and I'm all sealed as a draw. Okay, yeah, you 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 are not going anywhere. I'm gonna kill you right now. There you go. I know all my ults are gonna be sealed, but it's fine, I guess. Thank you, Lilia. I don't know why draws not debuffed from Lilia. Oh, there he is. And then we can pop this, and now they should kill. Dian should kill. There we go. Let's see. So last time we got four, which is on the high, which is on the higher end of the scale. Maybe it is. I got seven from that one. Seven, four. So we got we got eleven so far. Is that more than usual? I think that's more than usual. I don't really pay attention. I just mindlessly do this. Okay, yeah, we've gotten a lot from just doing this. I think it is double. But I think it's maybe double on any specific items because we have gotten more, a lot more hammers. I don't think it's, I think it's double rates of you pulling them and double the chalk, and they'll see there, they'll be doubled as well. But the, I don't think the other rewards are doubled. As if they are, then well, that's horrible. Five, yeah, that's the guarantee. At the end. I think we, we definitely got more from playing it than we did from the guarantees. Because from the guarantees, you're going to get 10. I got way more than 10. Which maybe I didn't. I'm not too sure. I didn't actually. I wasn't actually paying attention. I think uh, 2, 2, 2. Uh, we may have got t 10 or 12. So we may have got the same or a little bit more. Got buff the barn. Let's go. Anyway. Um, do this. Max go the stacks. Uh, buff. And then AoE. Oh. Decent damage. There we go. Even more cards. And they they used to be like AOT. My characters really need the relics. Even though I know relics don't even work when it's on their side. There we go. And the last is the Lolly Queen herself. This may be a little bit overkill. But it's fine. There we go. Immediate death. Would I say I got more? Probably we got 17 engraving stones and I want to say nearly 20-ish altogether in hammers. So yeah, I'm going to say double is definitely a thing, but let me actually show you the gold dungeon. Gold dungeon's up here. Uh, I need to do an extra stamina part. So we'll just do 10 rounds of this. I'll just do here. 10. Obviously, we have to sit through the entire thing because there's no skip animation when you do all of it. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot more. I think I made, I made a lot last time. 
Okay, let's find out. Last time I made 3 point something million, and this time I made only 2.1 million. But would you still say that's still rated up? So would I have made 20 million if I'd done 100 runs? No, you would not make... I'd say, yeah, I think this is definitely rated up. Obviously, this that rate up thing is just saying that now you can sell it here for the 20%. Which is what you couldn't you couldn't usually do. You had to go to the knighthood and sell it for the extra twenty percent, and now you can do it in your inventory. I think I'm not sure that's a permanent thing or just a temporary thing. All I know is that that is it. Probably is double. There is double. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.